Hey, this is Brady from Cloud9, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Open in Cloud9 button for Bitbucket. As a developer, you want to spend as much time as possible in your code and not worry too much about your configuration, your development environment, and other things that might take up your time. So this integration is a really good way to make sure that that's possible. So to get started with this button, we'll want to jump into our Bitbucket account. And I'm logged in already, so I'll just head over to my avatar up here and go to add-ons. Once we're in add-ons, we can scroll down a bit and we can install this open in cloud nine and it'll just ask us for access to our repositories and go ahead and grant that. So now that it's installed, I can head to one of my repositories or a repository that someone else has. And now I'll see this open in cloud nine button here on the left side. And so I can click that. And what that allows me to do is go from my static code, my static resources that are in my repository to having a working development environment in the cloud where I can develop, I can make changes and do things right away. So for instance, once this workspace loads right up, I have my file navigation here on the left and I can open up one of these files. And let's see, I think I need to make a change here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now that I've made that change, I can pull up my terminal down here and check my git status. And I wanna commit that change that I just made. Once I've committed it, I can go ahead and push it up and now I've just already made an update to this repository that I cloned 30 seconds ago. So Open in Cloud9 really gives you the ability to jump right into your code and make changes right away. Uh, it gives you a full development environment right in your browser. And so you don't have to do a lot of the setup that you might normally do on your local machine. I hope that helps explain the Open in Cloud9 button for Bitbucket. But go ahead and check out the link in the description and get started with it so you can jump right into code. Thanks for watching and happy coding.